everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my long awaited room tour. So this video has been requested for so long. I'm just so motivated for YouTube and I just wanna get back into it. I just absolutely love it and I miss it. Room has really, really changed and recently I have completely redecorated it. I've gone for that kind of more minimalistic kind of aesthetic kind of vibe to my room. Before I do get started, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel, um, like and comment down below what you think of this video um, and what any other videos you would like to see as well from me. Um, but without further ado, I'm just gonna get on with the video. So when you first come into my room, I've got my dressing room. So in here, I just literally have all of my clothes. So up there, I've got all my coats. And then down here, I have more kind of dresses and summer clothes. And then over this side, I've got like jumpers, hoodies, and then all my clothes in this chest of drawers from Ikea. Um, so then when you come into my main bit of the room, just have this little walkway through. And this is what you see when you first come into my room. So to your left, when you first come into my room, I have my long Alex George. You've probably seen these all over YouTube. Um, everyone has them. Um, and these just hold my makeup, skincare, kind of loads of body and skincare, hair products, everything like that is all in there. And then a couple at the bottom are kind of like more nail product so above these drawers i then just have a candle which is a certain m candle that my boyfriend's mum got me um, and then i just have an ikea fake plant in there with an ikea pot as well you'll notice a lot of the stuff in my room is from ikea um just because everything kind of matches that way and also it's really cheap and easy um i then have this m sign which i think was from oliver bonus don't quote me on that it was either oliver bonus or chickadee i can't remember um but it's just kind of a gold m you can kind of get these in any kind of cutesy homeware shop so i have recently redecorated my room so you'll notice that a lot of the walls are white whereas this wall used to be a kind of floral wall i now have got this kind of polka dot speckled wallpaper um this is from john lewis if i can find it i'll link it down below um i just really liked it with the white wall i thought it just looked really nice and it's quite simple so it will go with everything then over to here I have this again which is all from Ikea so it's one of the kind of ice Ikea skewer pots but it comes with like the chain so you can hang it up. Um, I just used one of these sort of plastic hooks to just connect it. These were so cheap I got them from like a b and or something for like £3 and you got like a pack of like 20 of them or something. And then with this I also got one of these faux plants which are just my favourite thing in the world. Um, so I have one on that side of my bed and then I have one on the other side and I thought it just looks really lovely all together it just looks so nice then going on to my bed so i recently just got this new bed it's um, one of those ottoman beds so it flips up um this bed is just so lovely and practical for me it's classed as a pearl color online but it comes more kind of silvery beigey it's kind of in the middle of that when it comes um i just popped on these um fairy lights that i got from ikea so with my bed um my bed itself was from dreams i believe um i'll try and link it down below if i can find it i think it was dreams um, and then the actual duvet that I've got, I don't exactly know where it's from. I've had it years, it might be next or something like that. And then the pillows on the bed, these two white ones are from Primark. The pink one is from H&M. And then I have my little teddy bear that my boyfriend got me, which is just so cute. <laughs> to the other side of my bed, I just have this set of drawers here. And I think these are classed as the smaller mound drawers. Um, and just above here, I have my Himalayan salt lamp, which I completely recommend if you haven't got one already. Um, it's just so so nice it just I pop it on just before I go to bed and it's just so relaxing having it on so I just have a screw pot and this just holds loads of essential things I need next to my bed so I've got my earphones TV remote I also have some hand cream in there as well just kind of essential bits that I always need pack of tissues which isn't anything interesting and then my notebook which is just kind of planning things writing things down for my YouTube lots of things like that and obviously my phone's just there plugged in so then going on to this side of my room, I have my dressing table here, which again, I'll link below. I'm going to try and find everything. Off memory, I can't think what they're all called, but I will link anything and everything I can down below. Really practical, and inside that drawer, I just have like hair products, um, lots of other random things like earrings and everything is just kind of in that drawer underneath, but I won't show you it because it's a little bit of a mess. Um, and then underneath, I just have my basket, which has all of my hair straighteners, hair curlers and everything like that. So over to this side, I just have my two skewer pots, which just have all my makeup brushes in, which need a serious clean. I'm so sorry about that. Um, I was supposed to do that today, but obviously I haven't. Um, and then I have my mirror here, which uh, is a number seven mirror. I've had this for absolute ages. Um, and then on here, I just bought this recently, which is from Ikea again. Um, it's just this circle mirror. I am going to probably 
I might change it up for a gold one because I think it would just change up the room a bit rather than everything being so white. And over this side, I just have some of my jewellery. So again, this is from Ikea. I've had this for absolute years. Had this little glass pot and this just holds loads of my earrings in there. And then this one, I believe, uh, I can't remember where this was from actually. It was from one of them kind of little own homeware shops near me. Um, and it's just like a little bird. And it just holds a couple of my rings, really. Um, I do have this chair as well, which again is an Ikea one with a Ikea rug over it. Over here I have my TV. Um, I have another one of these plants here, which just kind of trails down. I think it's called the Fetchka plant. Um, and I just did this because I've got my Xbox on this shelf and I just thought it looked kind of ugly. So it just made it look a little bit cuter on there. Into this last sort of section of my room. Um, I recently bought this. I used to have the old Ikea rail, which most people have, but I just really wanted one that I could sort of display my shoes on and it was just a little bit different. Um, so it has little handles on the side, which I hang all of my bags on. All of my favourite bags are on there. And on here, I just kind of change up this rack every sort of season. It normally tends to be kind of pink and beige because they're normally the colours I wear. And it just adds a little bit more colour into my room. Well, not really being beige, but the pink bit does. Got this rail from Argos. It's just such a nice size. It fits perfectly in my room. Um, and as I said, it comes with the kind of two shelves at the bottom. Just to display some of my favourite shoes and some shoes that I just really wear all the time. I have my massive plant here. I'll try and find it online. It is a real plant. Um, I know a lot of people have the fake ones, but I really wanted to get a real one. It is kind of huge, but I just kind of love it. Like the way it sits in my room and it just kind of trails across the mirror as well. Over here, I have my last sort of, I have my two shelves. So we have a plant and guess where that's from? Ikea, obviously, with the plant pot from Ikea as well. It's just a fake one up there. I then have this kind of like light up thing which doesn't actually light up but it just says Megs and Alfie 3217. It's just the date I got with my boyfriend. Um, so then next to it I also have a candle. This one is from Primark. It's just a clean cotton one. It's so so nice and I've had this for ages and it lasts so well. It's just one of their massive candles and it just smells so lovely. Over here I then have, on the bottom shelf, I then have this Tisserand um, scent diffuser. So that I have this little Buddha thing on a wooden, this just all came as a whole set. And I think it was like 3 dollars from B&M. And again, I have another Primark candle here, which I think is the green tea and bergamot one. Um, I haven't lit that one up at the moment, but it's so, so lovely. And then the last bit of my room is this mirror. And I can't tell you where this is from because my dad made it for me. Well, he didn't make it, he bought it for me and it's all sort of handmade so he's put dot dot on there which is my nickname that he calls me and it's just this really nice sort of like overly mirror and i just love it like you can get any sort of full length mirror anywhere but it's just so nice and i like it that it's quite original it's not the same as what everyone else has got so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it might have given you some inspiration of how you want to maybe decorate your room. Um, as I said, do let me know any videos you would like to see. And anyway, I'm just going to see you in my next video. Bye.